Hello students, I welcome you all to Arranger Academy. Today I have come up with yet another chapter of class 6 CBAC Science. Chapter 11, Light, Shadows and Reflections. So students, during daytime, when you are on the way to your school, you see things like buses, cars, cycles, trees, animals and sometimes flowers. How do you think we see all these objects? Yes, because there is light all around. Suppose you go inside a completely dark room. Are you able to see any objects in the room? No, but when you light a candle or a torch, you can see the objects present in the room, isn't it? So without light, things cannot be seen. Light helps us see objects. So this chapter explains that what is light, how it creates shadows and how it undergoes reflection. In this particular video, we will be discussing the NCERT questions and solutions. So let's proceed. Question 1. Rearrange the boxes given below to make a sentence that helps us understand opaque objects. So here we have some boxes present. So each box contains some letters. So what do we do? We need to rearrange these boxes such that it forms a meaningful statement or a sentence and there is a hint as well uh, jo sentence hum create karenge, it should help us in understanding opaque objects so this is the hint here so take your time try to rearrange them and form a meaningful sentence all right so i believe that you must have solved it let's see so the boxes that we see here let's see them the first box here is OPAQ. Fine. The second box contains UEO. Third box contains BG, BJEC. Fourth box contains TSM. Fifth box contains AKE. Sixth box contains SHAD. And the last seventh box contains OWS. Can you observe the statement that is formed after this rearrangement? Yes, it is that opaque objects make shadows. So we know that jo opaque objects hai. So opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them. As a result, they form a shadow behind them. So this is the statement that we have uh, figured out here and it also helps us in understanding the opaque objects. So let's move to the next question. Here comes question 2. Before looking into this, I would request all the students who are watching us to please visit our website arrangeacademy.com. Here you can find materials for your exams. Also, you can download NCERT solutions download kar sakte hai for all your classes for all the subjects. Coming back to question 2. Classify the objects or materials given below as opaque, transparent or translucent and luminous or non-luminous. So, we have five categories hai, right? Opaque, transparent, translucent, luminous and non-luminous. And we have a list of objects or materials hai pe. So, we have to classify these objects or materials into the respective groups where they should belong. So, let's see all these objects once. Air, water, a piece of rock, a sheet of aluminium, a mirror, a wooden board, a sheet of polythene, a CD, smoke, a sheet of plain glass, fog, a piece of red hot iron, an umbrella, a lighted fluorescent tube, a wall, a sheet of carbon paper, the flame of a gas burner, a sheet of cardboard, a lighted torch, a sheet of cellophane, a wire mesh, kerosene stove, sun, firefly and moon. Yes, this list is quite long but classifying them into these groups will not be uh, such a difficult task because this is something that we observe in our everyday life. Uh, right? So take your time, uh, try to answer it correctly. We will see the answer in the next slide. Here comes 
the answer to the question 2. So before we begin uh, to classify them, I would uh, give you a simple definition for each category so that it becomes easy for you uh, to distinguish. The first one here is opaque. So opaque objects are the one that do not allow light to pass through them at all. So they completely blocks the light. Transparent uh, uh, substances are the one that allow all the light to pass through them. The third category is translucent. Now translucent objects allow light to pass through them partially. Means they do not allow all the light to pass, neither they block all the light rays. So they allow the light to pass partially. These objects are called translucent. Then comes luminous objects. Luminous objects are the one that emit lights of their own, whereas non-luminous objects are illuminated because there are light rays falling on them which are making them visible. So let's see each category and uh, the particular materials that belongs uh, to them. So for the opaque object, here comes a piece of rock. So we know that rock doesn't allow light to pass through uh, them. So here comes uh, a piece of rock, then a sheet of aluminium, carbon vapor, as well as a sheet of cardboard. So all of these three objects again do not allow light to pass. Then a CD, a compact disc or a compact drive. So do not allow light again to pass through it. Smoke, a wooden board, an umbrella and a wall. So all these objects are opaque. The second category is transparent. So here comes air. You know that you can see through air because it allow light to pass through it. Then water, you can again see through water. Then a sheet of plain glass. Also, if you have a glass slab, you can see through it. It's a, tra it's a transparent material, right? Then comes translucent materials. Uh, here, a sheet of polythene. Have you ever observed uh, looking through a sheet of polythene? So you must have seen that you can see the objects on the other side uh, not as clearly, but still you can. So such objects or such materials are translucent. Then fog. So we observe fog in the early morning. Again, uh, you can see some of the objects that are uh, on the other side. Then a sheet of cellophane as well. So these are the list for the translucent objects coming to the luminous substances that is object emitting light of their own. So a lightened fluorescent tube. So you must have seen that a fluorescent tube emits light of its own. So it's a luminous object. Then a flame of a gas burner. So again, it's luminous, a lighted torch, firefly, kerosene stove, sun. Again, you know that sun is a star. It emits light of its own. It's a luminous object, a piece of red hot iron as well. So coming to now the non-luminous category, a mirror. Now a mirror uh, shines, you can say, because light rays fall on it and therefore its surface appears shine. The second is a piece of rock. So again, you know that a rock may get illuminated if light rays fall on it. Then a wire mesh, a sheet of carbon paper as well. Then a wall and finally moon. So why moon? Because moon reflects the light of sun and not its own light. So moon again is a non-luminous body. So here we are done uh, by in classifying all the objects that we have been provided into the separate list. So let's move to the next question. Question three, can you think of creating a shape that would give a circular shadow if held in one way and a rectangular shadow if held in another way? So, we have to object a shape ko create karna hai. We need to think on such a shape which we hold kare, so it creates two kinds of shadow. So, first shadow kaisa hoga? it should be circular shadow. Uh, so, and if we change its position, it creates a rectangular shadow when held in another way. So we need to think of such a shape. So here comes a cylinder. So yes. So when you hold a cylinder, you can see from the image 
clearly that in one position it creates a circular shadow on the wall whereas if we uh, allow the light to fall from this side then the shadow that it will cast will be rectangular in shape it will be a rectangular shadow so yes a cylinder when seen from top or bottom seems circular right so agar humne yahan se top se dekha ya bottom se so the shadow we will see will be uh, circular and if we will see it from any side uh, so in that case we will observe a rectangular shadow if we use a cylinder to cast a shadow from these two position we will get a circular or a rectangular shadow depending on the way it is held so we are done with the question 3 let's move to the next here comes question 4 in a completely dark room if you hold up a mirror in front of you will you see a reflection of yourself in the mirror सो so, अगर आप एक डार्क uh, रूम में हैं अ रूम जहाँ पे एक लाइट नहीं है सो इन सच अ रूम इफ़ यू होल्ड अप अ मिरर अगर आपने एक मिरर होल्ड किया हुआ है इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो क्या आप अपने रिफ्लेक्शन को देख पाएंगी ऑन द मिरर जस्ट लाइक दिस लेडी कैन सी हियर इन दिस इमेज सो इज इट पॉसिबल इन अ डार्क रूम सो वी नो नो दैट वी के नॉट सी आर सेल्फ राइट सो इट्स अ नो सो वी ऑल्सो नीड टू एक्सप्लेन दिस सो वी कैन सी आर फेसेज इन अ मिरर because it reflects the light that falls on it so hum apne uh, hum apne image ko isliye dekh pate hain kyunki uh, we get a reflected light getting into our eyes so by that we can perceive our image that has been created on the mirror so it is due to the light that gets reflected now since in a dark room hame pata hai that light is absent right so agar light present nahi hai so reflection won't be possible so no reflection takes place and we cannot see ourselves in the mirror since reflection agar nahi hua so no light rays are coming uh, back to us in fact no image is being created since no light rays can fall on the mirror so therefore we cannot see ourselves in the mirror in a dark room here we are completed with the ncert questions and solutions Thank you for being with us throughout this video. You can subscribe to Arrange Academy on YouTube for more such lessons. You can visit our website uh, arrangeacademy.com. वहाँ से आपको और भी details मिलेंगे. आप वहाँ से NCERT solutions भी download कर सकते हैं for all the classes, for all the subjects, so that you can ace your exams. Keep learning, keep growing. Thank you.